Hey, let's say hi to Buffalo. It's Al in Buffalo. Uh, Al, what do you have for the Opie and Anthony show? Hey, Al. Al. Hey, you guys said you're going to go after a radio station in Buffalo? Yeah, it's Buffalo's turn this week. What do you think? Uh, Kiss 98.5. What's the morning show? Uh, they're just annoying. They're like that cheery, happy... Like, that's what we're looking for. They're like Eric and Kathy. They're like uh, what's no, what's what's the other show we made fun of? Rebecca and Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Oh, you're good. I think Rebecca's I, I the one Rebecca. That, that drove her car into a strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I uh, love Rebecca. Sam, are we going after Kiss in Buffalo? Yeah. Janet and Nick is the show. Janet and G Nick. No, Janet and Nick. Janet and Nick. Janet. Just a Where are you from? All right, Al, I think we're going to go after Kiss this week. Mark. Awesome, thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Janet right. and Nick, what are they about? They're like Eric and Kathy, except... except uh, Yeah, they're a nice, friendly show. Yeah. Janet has top billing. <laughs> yeah, that's a little odd. Usually the guy comes first in the name, and then the whole, uh, she's kind of attached <laughs> to the end of the name. You know? <laughs> That must really, this guy must be completely emasculated. <laughs> like, because it's bad enough when you're, you know, the, the Glenn and Kathy or whatever the hell, uh, when your name is first, you're still emasculated because you got to hear, oh, now, be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, those people work very hard. Yes, I know. I was just joking. <laughs> we'll be back after blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, blah, blah. Uh, it's always this emasculating thing, but with her name first, yeah. Ooh, I could only imagine. This guy probably can't open his yap more than like five words an hour. Go back to what you just had there, Iraq. I want to read that. Mm -hmm. uh, wake up with Janet and Nick. Uh, it's wake up. Wake up with Janet and Nick. <laughs> wake up with Whoopi. See, that works, but wake up with Janet and Nick. Wake up with Whoopi. One of their big features online is photos of her new English bulldog. All right. Does it also involve uh, some peanut butter? Because <laughs> then it should be up on their front page. Hey, by the way, Bert from Philly, uh, Opie's humanity meter is laser accurate. I guess Paul was getting too high a reading. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Janet's, Janet's kind of a looker. Uh, stop. You're in radio. How long have you been in this business? Th this... How long have you been in the business? Is that you explain to me what I'm going to tell you about the website pictures. This is uh, she's hot. That was taken. she's hot. That was taken. Thank you. That's like my that's like my headshot. I'm thin in my headshot. Opie, remember a certain photo of a um, certain girl behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got to say. What? In the risky business, sunglasses. Shut up. Right. <laughs> You're gonna ruin it. So always away. We may or may not have worked at a radio station where we all had to take publicity shots, and there was a beastly no. one that they needed to take a picture. Of. But with a hot voice. I mean, one of the, the voice best voices got, in, in radio. Got guys go. so worked up into a lather, just sexy voice. But then they'd go to the website to see a picture of her, and I don't know if the station the station must have done this. Said, look, okay, we're going to take a picture. They put it completely behind a tree, <laughs> where she's just poking her head out like one eyeball. Half but her face. even that is covered with like Ray Bans, <laughs> so like you could only see sunglasses poking around a giant tree. <laughs> and everyone else is is being photographed in yeah. the sunlight in the studio, <laughs> maybe with a couple of rock stars yeah. or something. Not a hint. Not a hint of a tree anywhere is nearby. She's got a ninja, a ninja photo. Yeah, ninja photo. <laughs> it's like well, what? Like what? Guy told her. And, and what point during the photo session do you go? All right, get behind the tree. All right, no, not next to. No, no, completely behind the tree. Now poke your head out. No, too much. Back, back. Now put on these sunglasses. That's the look. Yeah. Put a bandana on your hair. <laughs> so you're saying Janet isn't this hot? Uh, I'd have to see different pictures. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, they got the best picture possible. Um, uh, well, from uh, a while ago, she's got a friend's haircut, so you want to? This could be a while back. Uh, back. Well, Buffalo, you know, loving the show, so we got to give them a little attention this week. So it's uh, we're gonna see what this Jen. Ah, uh, well, about. okay. I don't care about anything else. I just read the first uh, little answer to a question, and I'm I'm hooked already on the show. Well, every website you have to have a questionnaire. That your jocks fill out. What is that? Just to Every friggin' website. Just to show their personality. That way you get to know them a little better. 
Uh, if you were a superhero, who would you be? They asked Janet Snyder uh, from the Janet and what? Uh, Nick. Wake up with Janet and Nick show. Wake up with Janet, with Janet and Nick. Nick. Uh, superhero, who would you be? She goes, I would be Wonder Shopper. I can shop a mall in the speed of sound. In the speed of sound. Would that be at the speed of sound? I could shop a mall in the speed of sound. In the speed of sound. It would be at the okay. speed. In the speed. Uh, and in, how do you, how can you be in? I don't know. It's ridiculous. You can First be. of all, how could you do that? It would take long to ring you up. You'd be breaking the sound barrier, which would upset the other shoppers. It just doesn't work logistically. And I think the shock wave and the friction from the air would probably burn your body apart. <laughs> but I can't be sure. <laughs> Wonder shopper is stupid. <laughs> if you're if you're the president, what do you change first? Mm. According to Janet, uh, well, all Americans would only be allowed to work a four-day work week. Ooh -hoo. Yeah, let the Japanese and Chinese in beat us even more. Yeah, I told yeah, you. That's good. No one's listening to me. I said the Chinese, Chinese. are coming. They're coming. They're on their way. Oh, they're, they're still allowed to boo at uh, sporting events. We'll get into that story a little later. Oh, will we? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that big a problem with her. <laughs> Why? What fear do you have uh, that most people don't know about? Germs. Pass the Purell, pl please. Mm. <laughs> pl please. Mm. All right, well, we could get into this a little later because it's just so over-the-top boring. <laughs> oh, uh, the Bill Gates over one? Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> kind of like that one. Bill Gates or Oprah wants to marry you. What do you do? What do you do? Oprah, Oprah loves Chicago and her taste in the finer things. Have you seen her place in Hawaii? I would have to tell Bill to stop monkeying with his computer all the time. Yeah, that's it. Stop monkeying with that computer that got you billions upon billions of dollars. And have you seen his place in uh, Washington? It's unbelievable. It's half the lake. Yeah, it makes Oprah's place look like a cottage, you <sighs> dummy. What are you laughing at? Nick's answers. Oh, Nick's answers? Travis uh, couldn't uh, help himself. He ran in here. Uh, yes there, uh, Travis. What, what did you find? No, oh. you just have to read his, uh, his superhero answer. Oh. All right, Nick from the Janet and Nick show. Yeah. Wake up with Janet and Nick. If you were a superhero, who would you be? Of course, they, don't, they ask him the same questions. The world's first reggae superhero, Jamaica Mon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, he's just some like white guy. Yeah, well. he's not a Jamaican or black or anything. And every every uh, question has to have a funny little answer. So it's uh, if you were president, uh, what would you change first? My pants. <laughs> Um, the world is coming to an end this April 1st. What's the first thing you would do to beat the clock? Trick. The world is coming to an end on April Fool's? Come on. Do I look that stupid? But seriously. He writes, but seriously. If you have to say it seriously, you're in trouble. <laughs> right. you got to write it. You can at least review what you said and wipe that sentence and the but seriously out. But seriously, if it's for real, call Jack Bauer. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. He actually wrote the sounds that 24 has on the uh, show. Boop, beep. Oh. Mm. Call Jack. Well, this Power. sounds uh, like a terrific show. Are you going to get some audio? Yeah, I've been listening. It is really good. Are, you're laughing. How bad is it, really? It's just a great show. I just love all these shows. They're so different. Yeah, they really are. Take a look at this uh, Janet and Nick show from Buffalo. Yeah, another one of these uh, guy girl yuck fests. They just ah, no. sit there all morning and gab about how 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 marriage is, and but it's nice, you know, not like the way we talk about marriage. <laughs> and and puppy dogs, and they play games. Well, what are they doing on their yeah. show today? Well, one of their big one of their big bits is. Uh, a listener calls up, and you know how a lot of shows have trivia questions, or somebody gets to win a prize. 
sure. The SATs were on Saturday. Oh. So mm. They're asking SAT questions. Ah, see, they tied that in. This is a joke, right? No. <laughs> Sam is so cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Step it out. No. <laughs> baby. All right. We did leave our <laughs> yeah. staff alone. I can't help it. <laughs> You're like a, you're a predator when you come in here. <laughs> you're supposed to just be doing the show with us. <laughs> a predator, Jesus. you really are, man. So, Bob Kelly, you've come to the radio show for sex. I, well, no, I just I I, I came here. To you're just, here to meet this young man. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I guess you came in. What? No, take a seat. Don't go anywhere. Take a seat. Uh, okay. Uh, Might as well finish your lemonade. Uh, yeah. Well, it's good. Now, you want a cookie? Uh, if you have one. <laughs> you've um, said, and I'll read the transcript here, you wouldn't mind taking him to the movies and soft kissing him on the lips. I, I just, I heard that uh, he felt a little lonely and I just wanted to give him a now, little, little Now, you're talking about a young man. You obviously want to have smocks. Yeah, I can't deny it. Yes, I want to have sex with him. <laughs> I want to make out with him and I want to make By the way, Sanjay mind. is Well, like who wouldn't? He's so, underage. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Now it's all perfect. You predator. Oh. Now it's perfect. Is he really underage? Yes. Sam, what are you? I'm 23. I want to get you a little straight wig with highlights. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, want to, I just want to put clothespins on that upper lip and fluff it up a little bit. <laughs> fluff it up. <laughs> He's got candy in his head, too. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Oh, you haven't heard that one yet? Just got to figure out how to get it out. Yeah, Steve is convinced. He's got candy in his head. I forgot. Head. I do. But we <laughs> can't find the secret lever. I, I bit his yeah, cheek. Bit me trying to oh, that's right. You did bite his cheek. Yeah, that made me sit on his lap. He sat on your lap. Can I just say something? He Looks like one of those wooden puppets from those little Christmas. <laughs> That's what I mean. Remember yeah. the Christmas thing? <laughs> they had the little rosy cheek. A marionette. Yeah. Yes. It's like a marionette. We're misfits. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Sanji. All right, enough. <laughs> God, I hope he gets kicked off this oh, week. He's better. Oh, right, Janet and Nick, here we go. So, uh, Sam got a few clips together just so we could get to know the Janet and Nick show from uh, Buffalo. Yeah. Janet and Nick ask an SAT question. Oh, I can't wait. All right, we're going to do an SAT question, Rachel, because the SATs were on Saturday. Oh, good Lord. Sure. Okay, good luck. This, this is an official SAT question of the day. Uh, we'll give you an easy one here. Gasoline tank on a certain tractor holds 16 gallons of gasoline. If the tractor requires seven gallons to plow three acres, how many acres can the tractor plow with a tank full of gasoline? Would that be six and six, seven? Hold on, wait. With how much of a tank? With a full tank of gasoline. With a full tank of gasoline. Yeah. Holy. Holy crap. A full tank, and a full tank holds what? Okay. 16 gallons with 16. You want to laugh seven, on the way to work. 14. You want to be reminded of school and that, two, that, that anxiety you used 16, to get. Taking a test. I really did just get stressed out. Right. I, mean, I, just, I just realized how stupid I am. Right. Something. I'm doing, trying to do math. I, Don't do it. not even helping. It's a full tank of gasoline. With a full tank of gasoline. Uh, he was yeah. talking so fast. It's, That's it's, right. Yeah, talk so much. The tractor holds 16 gallons of gas. Okay, and, the acre, and how many acres? Uh, the tractor requires seven gallons to plow three acres. Okay. Seven how gallons. How many acres? Oh, gosh. No, yeah, this is easy. It's easy. 6.2. Oh, my God. Uh, I really don't. Oh, you're actually, Opie, that stresses me out like school. Six point five. Stop him. It please. gives me anxiety. You don't have to impress six, people all the time. You can't do six it. Just be with the rest of us. We all have a little anxiety. I don't know. This I, is not what you want from your morning show going to work. I don't know the to point. To be stressed out and have those like dreams like you're, you're still in school. I'll just say a little over six. <laughs> Why? Because uh, why, why do this? Because why ha does it have to be so exact? Why do this to everybody? Why? Who cares? Just get me my corn. All right. Well, uh, and the next clip, because we're getting to know Janet Maybe. and Nick. Yeah. Janet and Nick sound like idiots. Oh, okay. No, wait. Read the question one more time. Gasoline tank on a certain tractor holds 16 gallons of gas. Uh -huh. If the tractor requires seven gallons to plow three acres... How many acres can the tractor plow with a tank full of gasoline? Oh, easy. Seven gallons. Uh, uh -huh. three, three, six. Acres. Is it six and two-thirds or something? Uh, six and a third or... No. Six and a fourth. Oh, How dummy. many acres? Seven acres? Three acres, he said. Three acres, but the question is how many acres... Can the tractor plow with a tank full of gas? Okay. With 16, 16 in it. Take right, seven so and take seven. Uh, two and two. Seven, oh, my God. My 20, head's exploding. Two, uh, 
16th and 1-8th. What's the what? choices? The choices are 6th and 6th, 7th. No. 7th seven and 1-6th. <laughs> oh, I'm wrong. 7th and a third. <laughs> Ten and two thirds, or thirty-seven and a third acres. Oh, geez. What were the first two names? Six and six sevenths. How does that work? Or seven and one six. How does that well, work? Two. The oh, you were pretty close right off the get-go. Hey, yeah, right. you, you almost had it right from the beginning. What are you doing wrong? I don't care. He doesn't care. I don't care. Hello, exactly. Oh, my God. I'm all stressed out. Oh, wow. I have a pain in the right side of my hip right now. I'm not even kidding you. No I one have... wants to be reminded of school after you leave school. Yeah. Is there an organ in the right side of your hip right now? <laughs> I have a pain. It's, it, like, it is in hurting. the right side of my hip right now. I'm not kidding you. That made something explode. Oh, is that awful? There used to be an organ there, but now it's all stomach, <laughs> isn't it, Bob? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, you didn't have to go too far with that one, did you? Oh, did you have to stare at my belly when you said it? Could you at least look me in the eye? <laughs> yeah, there there used to be wow. a dog in there. Wow, I'm going to lose weight. Watch what happens. How many gallons were in the tractor? I don't care. You need to really know the answer 16, now. 16, and there were seven gallons in the tractor? Why would a, Why would your morning show do this three? to you? So it's... They were playing Indian music in the background, too, which was killing me. Double that, though. It's 14. It's not even a full tank. So I, I three, think it's, six. It's only 14. Seven. But it's six. It's 6.857. I need, an, I need a math. Really, is that what it is? Yeah, I'm a, I was a math whiz growing up. Who gives a crap? <laughs> I gave a crap because someone was saying it's over seven, Anthony, you idiot. I, and I knew it wasn't over seven. No, it's 6.857, but who's 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 keeping track? Who Apparently cares? you are, Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> knew the whole time. That's why you can sit here and be so nonchalant. <laughs> I'm, me and poor Anthony are like six, seven, two, 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 I was seven. Last, the point I was, thing is... I kind of knew math when I was growing up. Oh, but Who the, cares, though? But you don't really get a full tank on a full tank, so it's just, I'm just yeah. saying seven and a half. Dude, I'm, and a half. I got anxiety now. I never get anxiety. <laughs> I get anxiety w when it comes to school crap. What? Oh. All right, did you uh, get a clip where you make them funnier and bring them into our world? Yeah, this, I want to hear the them whole fun. Bit. All right, so we got uh, Janet and Nick's Code Cracker Contest. What the hell is this? Well, you have to call up and give them a three-digit number. And if it matches their three-digit number on their briefcase, you win a vacation. Oh, that sounds easy. What's the number between 111 or 100 and... Apparently, it would be any feasible. And 999? Nine, nine, nine? Yeah. All right. So what happens if I say um, 275? They'll check the first number. Yeah. And see if it's right. And then they'll check the second number Ew. and see if it's right. And what if the first number's wrong? They just then go. Then you lose. And then what if two and seven are right? And then the next people, like like the next uh, nine people, will win, maybe. Is this show vacation. beating us in Buffalo? I yeah. I know the numbers. Probably. All right, here they talk about their uh, code cracker contest. Crack that code. Kelly from Lakeview, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Kelly, here's how it works. The KISS 98.5 code is a three-digit code. Each number is between zero and nine. It's a combination lock to a KISS 98.5 suitcase. Inside the suitcase holds your free vacation. Are Ooh. you ready to crack the code, Kelly? I am ready. Who's, any... helping you, who's helping you crack the code today? Help uh, my daughter, Olivia. Okay, so she's the code cracker? Does she need help. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good luck. We need three numbers, please. Seven zero four. Oh. Seven zero four. Sounds like a good number. I think that's going to crack. I'm the code. excited. I hope so. Let's do it. Let's run down the first digit you chose. Number seven is oh. wrong. Oh. Sorry, Kelly, that means no trip for you right now. Man, and you think we waste time on this show. <laughs> what a waste of time. You go, hear the music, though? It was all see. ding, 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 ding. Code Cracker, you have to download their Code Cracker worksheet to do it at home. They, 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 a the worksheet? The only morning show that gives you homework. I like, need a worksheet? Like, we goof and say you got a ho you got homework. It's like Christmas Story. You got to get the Code Cracker yeah. ring. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Get the coded ring. Your mother's screaming at the head. Get out of there. He it's needs the bathroom. Drink this show Ovaltine. stinks. They give you SAT. Ovaltine. They give you SAT questions and they give you homework assignments. You got to do math on this show. This show is a math show.
Stinks. Well, uh, we're going to bring them into our world, the mm. shock jock world, Janet and Nick. So you took the same clip. And uh, made it edgier and funnier, right? Yes. Made it entertaining? Yes. All right, let's take a listen here. You have confidence? Yes. Because if um, this sucks, then the bit's over. We do this until the bit, you know, fails miserably. I have confidence. All right, good. <laughs> Kelly from Lakeview, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Kelly, here's how it works. The Kiss 98.5 is a combination lock to a Kiss 98.5 suitcase. Inside the suitcase holds your free Are you ready to... Kelly. I am ready. Do you who's, think helping you, who's helping you to c*** today? Uh, my daughter, Olivia. Okay, so she's the c***. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good luck. We have three numbers, please. 704. 704. Do you think that's going to c***? I hope so. Let's do it. Let's run down. The first digit you chose, number seven. It's oh. wrong. I'm sorry, oh. Kelly. That means no <laughs> for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that Olivia is a beep beeper. <laughs> crazy. All right, Fitz still on. Yeah. Game's still on. Game's still on. That was a good one. There's uh, stupid Janet and Nick and uh, good old Buffalo. In. You should come in here one day and just do one of those shows. I I, I was thinking that. that, like, really just plan, do the prep for the whole day, and have, just do an awful one of those shows. Have a chick come in, yeah. you guys, from the get-go, from here until XM, do that. And just commit, really stay in character and, fully and commit. commit to it. And do games and little witty things and traffic alerts and weather. And, oh, and just do it. All right, we got a lot awful of, with that be. We got a lot of calls uh, coming in from Buffalo. We got Chris. What's up, Chris? Hey, my name. Yeah, um, I I don't listen to this to, to them guys. I listen to you guys all the time. Um, Shred and Reagan used to make fun of these guys all the time. Oh, good. So we're yeah. on to something here. Yeah. Um, the dude's name is, is the guy. His nickname is it's Janet and Nicholas Pickles in the morning. Pickles? Nicholas Pickles. As in pickle? Yeah, as in pickle. So what? the guy likes pickles? Oh, I, I, I have no idea. Or he's pickleless. He's got no... Uh, or he has he, no pickle. Yeah, he's a great... I know. He's or he has a little guy. gherkins. A little, little, little pickle. He <laughs> likes little pickles. A little smaller than a pickle. It's possible. <laughs> uh, but Shred and Reagan used to make fun of him about how he used to sit on a marital aid with the word butt and the word plug in it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Chris, you know how this works in Wow, all? you're camouflaged. Wow, you're really creative. <laughs> Do you know what? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Jesus, Chris. Well, well, thank you. But uh, yeah, underscore. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> underscore, yeah, as long as you underscore it. All right, <laughs> enough. Let's go to Jay in Buffalo. Jay, what's up? Jesus, dude. Jay. Jamie? Ah, uh, Jamie. Yeah, what's up, Jamie? Yeah, this Nicholas Pickles guy. He like MCs the um, the Sabres games. Every time this guy talks, everybody in the crowd just boos for him. You know, the guy's just a. Uh, they boo him at at Sabres games, and and yeah. and he has a popular morning show in Buffalo. Yep, every time he talks, they just boo. What, you know? a, what a dope! Sure All right, Jay, thank the you. Team. Right. The team's doing well. Are they? Yeah, that would have been funny if they sucked. I'm not a big hockey fan. All right. uh... Moving on to other things, we'll we'll be uh, keeping track of Janet, Janet and Nick all week. Uh, but uh, Buffalo still using the old way, and it seems like we're doing pretty good in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Want to thank Shred and Reagan once again because they've uh, supported the show because they had this slot for for many many years, and uh, they're kicking ass in afternoons, and we're kicking ass in uh, in mornings for Buffalo. And we're paying attention to a show called Janet and Nick this week. Ew, Janet and what? Janet and Nick and Nick is like Eric and uh, Kathy, Kathy is which is like, like uh, Rebecca and Glenn. Yeah, I think it started with Rebecca and Glenn, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know we go after all the tough targets here on the. Oh Academy yeah, show. the hard hitting shows that fight back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> These are your typical shows with the guy host and the hole that sits next to him and just goes, "Yeah, oh God, oh now," and and throws in the comments, the comments that stops funny. Dead in its tracks. Oh, they really are. They're, they're, they're like made of lead. Women. It's like when there's a joke coming, a, a lead thing with breasts just stands up and stops it. You just hear a clang, and there's the funny hitting it. They're, they're, they're like made of Kevlar. Women are like Kevlar when it comes to humor going through. <laughs> you take your shot. It's aimed perfectly at the funny bone, but what happens? Funny joke. Oh, guys. Thanks. 
<laughs> oh, I don't know if we... Oh. Uh, well, I, I think it was. Do you? Yeah. Shut up. Exactly. So we got today's Janet and Nick Clip. Because we want to pay attention to Buffalo this week. Let's see what kind of comedy's coming out of that. Well, they did a whole break on setting their clocks. Ah, because daylight saved. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, 633, Janet Snyder. The number one hit music station. Of course it is. Because you're the only one playing... That music. The hits. Nicholas Radio Nicholas. slogans. And a little bit darker than we're used to. Yeah, clocks moved this oh. weekend. Not oh. Cool. Yeah. Wake me up in the middle of the night. You kidding me? I still have to, I have to do my car clock and a couple more clocks upstairs, and then I've got all my clocks changed. Oh, no. Wait, I did this one on the computer. Oh, I can see where this is going. <laughs> did it. Like it's mad at me for trying to reset it. Now, what do I do? I click on the time? It, it, it'll it'll reset itself. Why? It just, I don't know, mine did. Try to yeah, you right-click it. Then we'll adjust date adjust time. Adjust time, and then we're under the clock where you see the little, you know, the real uh -huh. numbers. Put the six over the five. Apply. Well, what are, like, can't I just go forward more? Hold on. No. Oh, my God. Well, that's a.m. p.m. <laughs> I'm not near the keyboard right now, so I got to... All right, hold on a second. This, one, this one's mad at me. This computer's like, <laughs> it is not that time. Wait, what do I do? Put a six? Yeah, put a six. Okay, that looks good. Okay. A.m. Okay. I had to change it for now. Yeah, for now. Let's see what mine does. <laughs> Next up, I defrag my hard drive in real time. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Did they just set their clocks on the... Updating my virus software. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's what they did? They reset their computer clock live on the air. Opie. And then she has to act uh, dumb? Yeah. Well, act. No, she's. you can tell she's acting dumb. Yeah. Um, we don't uh, give the, you know, the whole much credit to begin with. But she, she Who was, can't click was, on your time and then put a new number in? You know why she was okay. acting dumb? Because she's like, so I, I put a six in? Uh, yeah, you know you put a six in. No, put a, t a 12 in. That's uh, still identify sure, she'd like to put a 12 in. <laughs> <laughs> Need the new co-host. Janet's a size queen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, her nickname on MySpace is Janet the Girth Monster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. God. Awful. So the next one is uh, John and Nick talk about Justin Timberlake and Pink be oh. being on tour. Nice. How yeah. sad that they're, they're on tour together, but they barely see each other. Well, I think she just kind of looks at there juggling it. all the starlets. Yeah, yeah. You know, the dogs, the starlets. Right, exactly. Oh, his dogs were so beautiful. What do you have, bulldogs? No, boxers. Boxers. The, the most beautiful, you know, well-taken-care-of boxers. They were just gorgeous. But, you know, he brought them on the road without crates or anything. And, and they're, they're a decent-sized dogs. And sometimes they need crates. They kept getting out. And, like, they learned how to push their hand down on the door handle. And we're getting out backstage. Oh, nice. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that's what you want. A dog free in HSBC Arena. Yeah, that doesn't go so Running well. Running loose. You know, so uh, kind of crazy. Speak Speaking of dogs, she should talk about the claw marks she has on each hip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I did see a video over the weekend. Wow. It's been making the rounds. The dog, all you hear is the dog going... <laughs> uh, I love the dogs, though, in those videos. They got that same dopey face on. So dedicated to the job, you know? The front paws sometimes are taped so they don't do anything. So they don't hurt anyone. I love it. <laughs> they they little, tape them up. A little overzealous. Ooh, I've been scratched with a dew claw. <laughs> Looking at the camera like, are my dog friends watching us? <laughs> Waving. <laughs> this little taped up hand. Hey, Stephen from Bayshore, he's good for one every day. Golly, it sure is impressive how Janet and Nick keep up... Uh, this madcap pace. <laughs> madcap. Oh, if anything's madcap. Well, we just took that uh, Timberlake and Pink clip, mm -hmm. and uh, now we're going to make it funny and edgier and bring it into our uh, our world, the shock jock world. Right. They're outrageous. Here's that same, same clip. Funnier. How yeah. sad that they're, they're on tour together, but they barely see each other. Well, I think she just kind of looks at it. juggling all the starlets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, his 
Those were so beautiful. The, the most beautiful, you know, well taken care of. <laughs> they were just gorgeous. But you know, he brought them on the road, and, and they're they're a decent sized. <laughs> they kept getting out and like backstage. Oh, nice. Yeah, that doesn't go so Running well. Loose. You know, so uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sam keeps the bit alive. I like him now. I like this show. <laughs> Look, uh, usually by this point we would retire a bit. But we yes. want to see how far Sam could take this. He's got a hitting streak going. Yes, yeah, Sam's on a streak. One day he's going to come in all confident. He's going to hand in his little uh, audio clips, and we're going to be like, ah, uh, bit over. But mm -hmm. I think he hit another uh, hit another double. You chose that one to go with? Yeah, the other one. I kind of saw the direction right away. Yeah, yeah. So did I. I, I thought you were going to go with that. You surprised me. It's a little too easy. It is. See that? Look oh, at that. He's going for the that. challenge. He's going for the challenge. Because they said clocks so many times in that other one. I assumed uh, he was going to go with that direction. I say he tries it now. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Try the easy one. Let's see. Guys, if you just a step up. You're, it's batting practice. Let's see if you can get a base hit with a hamstring injury. <laughs> <laughs> you take that clock bit and you make that... Uh, Naughty, naughty, Make naughty. It naughty. You got it. All right, there goes Sam. He's going back into the uh, ONA lab. Sam. Yeah. How'd it go? I think it went well. Yeah? Yeah. The bit is, you know, could die right here. No. Yep. We keep... actually made him do this. We forced him into it because it was the easy one. We're going to keep this bit alive until it fails miserably, and then, unfortunately, we're going to have to retire it. He had two clips. He chose the latter of the two, which I thought was more difficult, but came out really funny. Yeah. And I thought he was going to go for this. Uh, but he said it was too easy. Well, we're making so. fun of some awful show in Buffalo. Horrid. Uh, Janet and Nick. 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 They used to be called Janet and Pickle. Ew. <laughs> or something oh. like that. I guess that's his nickname. Did he switch, oh. or did they finally just someone tell him that sucks on a level you don't I get. have no idea, and I don't need to know. You don't have to call up with the info. No one's going to care. We're just using uh, them to, to have a little fun, and then we move on to some other awful show that can't fight back. All right, Sam took uh, a clip from Janet and Nick. You heard it earlier, hopefully, unless you moved on to something else. But then if you moved on to something else, then I'm not talking to you right now. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, this is the clip, just in case you missed it earlier. No, Trina, Kiss 98.5, the number one hit music station. Good morning, 633, Janet Snyder and Nicholas Piccolis. And a little bit darker than we're used to. Yeah, clocks move this weekend. Not cool. Wait, they do call him Nicholas Pickles? Nicholas Pickles. I think that's his last name, Pickles. It is not. Yeah, yeah but that's got to be your fake, kid right? Nicholas, if your last name is Pickles. <laughs> well, at least that's what it is on his bio. You know? Yeah, exactly. no, that's a dumb fake. radio name. I know. Nicholas Pickles. Except little kids, it should be Nicholas Tickles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stephen from Bayshore, good for many today. Dice needs to drop the word here from his famous line. Now it's just, I'm over now. <laughs> I'm over now. <laughs> I'm Dice from Monarchy. <laughs> but he has a point with me. I just want you to get under his skin to the point he finds some dumb picture of you. Oh, he will. Because I got to I gotta see what his next response is. I got to admit, it, it's becoming fun now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, here, here's the original clip. Piccolis, Piccolis, and a little bit darker than we're used to. Yeah, clocks move this weekend. Not cool. Yeah. Wake me up in the middle of the night. You kidding me? I still have to. I have to do my car clock and a couple more clocks upstairs, and then I've got all my clocks changed. Cool. Wait, I did this one on the computer, and it, it set itself back. It did it? Like it's mad at me for trying to reset it. Now, what do I do? I click on the time? It, it, it'll, it'll reset itself. Why? It just, I don't know. Mine did. Try to yeah, you right click it. Then we'll adjust date adjust time. Date and time. And then we're under the clock where you see the little you know, the real uh -huh. numbers. Put the six over the five. Apply. Well, what that, can't I just go forward more? Hold on. No, you well, that's AM PM. <laughs> I'm not near the keyboard right now, so I gotta all right, hold on a second. This, one, this one's mad at me. This computer's like <laughs> not that time. Wait, what do I do? Put a six? Yeah, put a six. Okay, that looks good. Okay. AM. Okay. I had to change it for now. Yeah, for now. See what mine does. Boring! Oh, my God. Boring! Nothing could be more exciting than listening to two people change a clock on a computer. Uh, all right, well, Sam took that bit and mm. uh, hopefully made it funny with some bleeps. 
Yeah, they get a little outrageous in this one, I think. Yeah, they're really outrageous if you listen closely. <laughs> you have confidence, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Let's move this weekend. Not cool. Yeah. Wake me up in the middle of the night. You kidding me? I still have to. I have to do my and a couple more upstairs, and then I've got all my a little bit darker than we're used to. Yeah. I did this one up. It set itself back. Did it? Like it's mad at me for trying to it. Now what do I do? I on the Try to say you it. Then we'll adjust. And then we're under the where you see the little, you know, the real. Put the <laughs> apply. Well, what are, can't I just go forward more? Hold on. No, you well, that's <laughs> Okay, that looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I stand off today. That's good. Fit's still on. That is good. Fit's still on. The streak is alive with Sam. Isn't that great that you could bleep clock yeah. so you could hear, like, the beginning and end of it? <laughs> yeah. But if it was the real word, you'd have to bleep it out completely. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> I love that. Bravo. <laughs> oh, wow. This sucks. Oh no! What up? Uh, Ron in Connecticut doesn't like us. Ron. Oh, Ron. What's wrong, What's up, Ron? Guys? What's the matter, Ron? Do you want to oh, suck I, a little I, bit? I didn't tell your secretary I didn't like you. I said it was entertainment. However, I still feel that you know some of your bits are fabulous. I, I die laughing. But Let, then I got to turn. I hold on, hold on. on. What bit do you like there, Ron? Go ahead. I'm sorry. What bit do you like? What bit do you like? Right there. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that's one of the funny ones. <laughs> oh, he was all geared up. You were part of a funny bit. <laughs> Revved up. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. Your opinion means nothing. We don't care. How do you like that? What do you have to say? It's not about you, douchebag. We got a little intel here. Uh -oh. What's going on? Sam has... Uh, Oh, there's Sam. I I'm hearing things. Candy in his head? Well, we're doing the Janet and Nick uh, bit this week. See, we're we're, we're, t we're attacking the really tough radio shows out there. Yeah. And this week, we're focusing on the Janet and Nick show from Buffalo. Don't they even sound tough? They, they sound very tough. Uh, let's be honest. We're the mugger, and, and Janet and Nick, they're like the 101-year-old 101 101 lady. That just wants to go to church. <laughs> I can see their little <laughs> cap go flying off their cotton candy hair. <laughs> So uh, the bit is, uh, it, it probably has run its course uh, by now. We're acknowledging that. But we, did, we started something else. We want to see how far Sam could take this before the bit is obviously over. Mm -hmm. And I heard a rumor that you have a piece of audio just in your back pocket that, that, is, that will guarantee this bit continues. Ace in the hole? He has an ace in the hole. It's quite literally. <laughs> so, wow. See, he even has it in his back pocket. Oh, you sly dog. So basically, his whole job is to listen to Janet and Nick in Buffalo, find some just awful audio, and then we, uh, you know, throw some beeps in it and make it funnier, right? Make it sound like they were really being naughty. But this guy, let's let he just handed in the, the latest Janet and Nick audio, but yeah. if he didn't find this today, he was going to go to his back pocket and, and break out the guaranteed... The oh. spare, the guarantee, the in case of emergency, break glass. Yeah. It's actually there... Just in case one sinks, it's like an extra life. Like, just when <laughs> it's you an extra life. Over, I got something in my back. He's collected an extra life. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. So let's say this sucks today. Right. And we go, oh, well, obviously, if it's over, you're going to go, ah, 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 and you're going to hand over the disc. I try got to this save one. the bit. I've been holding on to this since Monday morning. This is their first break Monday morning. Wow. Ten seconds long. But here's the problem. Yeah. You have to use this before the end of the week because then we move on to some other show next week. Right, of course. Or we might even rest a bit next week. Yeah. So All now right. I want to hear it. So sometime between now and the end of the week, you will break out the the bit from your back pocket. Yeah, it might be today. Wouldn't it be good? It if might be today. It sucked. It could oh, be today. no. Wouldn't no it be confidence. great if it sucked? Everyone, and we didn't know what it was, and we're just like, eh, that one is These guys good. have heard it. They said it's a guarantee. Oh, it is? It's a guarantee Home to run. keep the bit going. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, here's Janet and Nick from today out of Buffalo. We're how is Buffalo. The, how is this number two one that you uh, just gave us? It's not bad. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, here's Janet and Nick uh, on their show this morning. Yeah, this is this morning. Out of Buffalo, New York. Listen to this terrific radio. Her name is Christine. Hi, Christine. 
Hi, how are you? Good. You nervous? I'm very nervous. You're caller 98, Christine. Oh, my God. You get a chance to crack the code and win a free vacation from Kiss 98.5. Oh, my God. I could so use it, too. Where would you go? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking I definitely somewhere warm, maybe either California or Florida. Okay. You know how yesterday was such a nice, clear day for early morning watching one of those Southwest flights come in and I started dreaming I'm like man think about just going anywhere that Mm -hmm. plane is taking off to next I know that I was thinking that as I was going home watching them fly over me (laughs) that's what I'm talking about take me the hopefully it's value jet and it's going to the (laughs) guy should never under the Everglades guy should never admit that they're dreaming I just saw the plane taking off. I was dreaming. Do you think he really was, though? Yes. Listen to the guy. He obviously does a lot of dreaming. It's a little fruity. Mm. So uh, that was them doing what? Their contest where they just give out numbers, I guess, and you have to write the numbers down. Something like that. And then you call in with the right numbers, and then you win a trip somewhere. Yep. Yeah. That's what I love about radio. These dumb programmers out there, they think that's going to get the job done. It's called a time spent listening contest. Yeah. You want to get your TSL up, it's called. So you make them uh, linger longer. Longer. Make them stay there listening, waiting for their uh, code. They they have what's called like nine to five contests. Yeah. So basically you have to listen to the radio station all day. So let's say the jock that's on at nine will give you a part of some kind of code. And then go, don't forget to listen to Blah Blah, too. He'll give you the, the next clue. Next clue will be then, coming up. So it's too much work as a listener. So then you're like, oh, i got to listen to two now. And then you Sometime listen to two. between, right. yeah, they'll tell you. And then the two o'clock jock somewhere in that hour will give you the next clue. And don't forget, listen at five o'clock during the five o'clock funnies <sighs> or the five o'clock traffic jam God. for your final clue. And then call Janet and Nick tomorrow morning. Oh, it's just too much work. Yeah. Just stupid contest. And then they're yapping with that contestant who was putting me to sleep. All right, well, you you took that audio. Yes. And made it funnier. Brought him into our world, the shock jock world. Shock jock. And you feel, you're feel you feeling confident that this will continue the bit, right? Yes. All right, here we go. Janet and Nick from Buffalo. Funnier because Sam made them fun. <laughs> Her name is Christine. Hi, Christine. Hi, how are you? Good. You nervous? I'm very nervous. You're calling 98, Christine. Oh, my God. You get a chance to win a from Kiss 98.5. Oh. Oh, my God. I could so use it, too. Where would you... Um, I don't know. (laughs) I'm thinking definitely somewhere warm, maybe either California or Florida. Okay. You know how yesterday was such a nice, clear day for... Oh. And I started dreaming. I'm like, man, think about just... Anywhere that mm-hmm. plane is taking off to next. I know that. I was thinking that as I was driving home watching them. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Me. Chris- <laughs> <laughs> Me. Right. Uh, I don't think you have to break class today. Nope. All right. You made Janet and Nick funnier. Right? Yeah. Not one of my little. favorites. Not oh, one yeah. of your. Yeah, yeah. It kind of. Um, you want to break class? It's there up were to you. there were a couple of moments there. Uh, you missed a good that, that weren't, opportunity. weren't quite there. The like the, the Florida California thing didn't quite make sense. Yeah. Are you saying that something wasn't up to snuff? Yes, it wasn't up to snuff. The California Florida thing could have been a couple of bleeps because he asked, you know, where you want to bleep, and yeah. she could have like said, "Well, I'm thinking about bleep and bleep," you know, which would have made you think front back kind of thing. But yeah. It didn't. Ma- it didn't make sense. Like, why would she do what she was doing? Why would you have to go to Florida or California to do that? Yeah. Uh, let's go to Tommy in Jersey. Tommy. Not the best one. Hey. Yeah. You guys, you know, this is terrible. Every day you guys are talking about different radio stations and stuff. you got to move on from this. All right. You know, no, you're right. You raise a good point. Why, why do you say that, Tommy? You guys are great. You know, you don't need oh, to, uh, shut up, Tommy. Tommy. Stop, stop it. If you don't like this segment, then you do what you have to do and go somewhere else. Yeah. That's how it works. Go eat a grapefruit. I love the people that think that, uh, you know, that we just have something that's obviously funnier just sitting there that we're not getting to. Absolutely. This is what we chose to do this break. If you don't like it, you go somewhere else. Yeah, Tommy. You're giving us... 
You know, after that uh, that Rocky bit that Anthony did, we don't even have to broadcast for the rest of the oh, day. Oh, we'll just ride it. Because at the end of the day, guess what? That's what you're going to be talking about anyway. Just ride our... Uh, uh, I love the people, though. It's like we just have we just have funny stacked all around us, and we chose the wrong funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Guess what? If we weren't doing this bit right now, we'd have nothing to talk about. My God. I'll show my cards. Hand it over. All right. It's not getting funnier after this one. Uh, cause yeah, even Mike from uh, Jersey saying, yeah, all right. Well, uh, Mike's still listening because he he's not going anywhere. No. This is Janet and Nick. We broke the glass. Yes. And you're guaranteeing that this will keep the bit going, right? Yes. All right. It's been holding. So as we this get one. used to this, like moving our clocks ahead. Wow, really dark this morning. Six twenty-three. Yes, the middle of the night. Hard for the joggers, I would say. I can see this is going to be good. <laughs> ah. Right, listen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Mike. Yeah. No one cares. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh oh. All right, so uh, the audio is only a couple seconds. Yep. Wow. I think that's better. All right, here we go. Janet and Nick, funnier, edgier. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Hold on a minute. Uh, uncomfortable moment. Oh, that'd be good if this doesn't work. So as we get used to this, like, moving our clocks ahead, wow, really dark this morning, 623. Yeah, the hard, middle of the night. Hard for the I would say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, a single beep. <laughs> oh, he went with a single beep. A single beep. That was good. Dude, I was in a panic. Yeah. I'm like, are you crazy? You didn't bleep the clock and go right there? <laughs> as soon as I heard yep. joggers, I thought winner. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is a good one. <laughs> Short, sweet, one beep. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know exactly what's going on there. Very nice there. There you go. <laughs> Bit's still on. All right. We'll decide when it's over. Yeah. Not some dopey listener that has to go to a stupid job. Yeah. <laughs> Watch him be a doctor. <laughs> huh? Watch him be a doctor. He's working on cures for cancer. Exactly. Your stupid job. <laughs> Tell Steve to quickly load that fart noise so we have it for the next break. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> all right. You're right. <laughs> no reality there. Pamela's here. Good. She's going to sing uh, uh, Like a Virgin. Great. You know, and I'll save you the time. This is what we're doing next because we have nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we thought might be funny. So kill us if you don't think it's funny. Uh, Anthony, something we wanted to play a while ago, and we we ran out of time. Just speaking of contest pigs, yeah, uh, we had a few requests for the Donna Summer uh, phone call. Oh, boy, this one's taking you way back. Way, way back, yeah. We used to have the concert pigs call our show because yeah. the numbers were very similar to like one of these dumb like uh, Janet and Nick type shows Yep, where they were just giving away trips and things like that. And uh, this lady called. She had no idea who we were, never heard of us, never heard of the show. She really thought she was calling the other station. I forgot the station. I think it was Mix or something. Up we always Austin. fished the information out of them because right. we got so many of these calls. We knew exactly when they called just by the sound of their voice that they weren't one of our listeners. Why? Because it was female? Yeah, female <laughs> and, and a little older. So we just started uh, like fishing for answers. Asking her questions so she'd give us the right answer. We'd be like, yeah. We were amazed that they got so excited because they were going to win Donna Summer tickets. Donna Summer. So we uh, we had some fun. Listen to this as we go to break. Am I the right caller? What were you calling for? Um, Donna Summer tickets. Oh. Donna Summer tickets. Are you a big Donna Summers fan? Yes, but I'm more of a... Point five fan. Uh, oh, oh boy, here we go. Knows, knows here, we go. here we go. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You're going to see Donna Summers. You're kidding. Congratulations. Thank you. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to put you in the front row. Front row. What do you say? For Donna Summers. What do you say? I don't believe it. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, what color panties you wearing? I'm wearing a bathing suit. Donna Summer wants to know. What kind of bathing suit you wearing? A one piece, a thong, bikini? A bikini, I'm sun tanning. Sun tanning. And then by my pool is my radio with point five on. Oh hey, boy. She she said said it again. Yeah, look you at know that. Since she's mentioned the station so many times, mm -hmm. I think another prize is in order. You like the disco era? Yes, I the do. The whole disco dancing thing? Absolutely. How about a disco weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada? Yeah! 
<laughs> That's right, you'll be whisked away to Las Vegas, Nevada to see Donna Summer in Las Vegas. Are you serious? We are serious. I can't believe this. You just have to tell us one thing. What? What's the strangest object you've ever used during sex? The what? Donna wants to know. Nothing. You're a virgin. <laughs> you're no. A big, you're a big fat virgin. Yeah. You're a big fat virgin. And what's your favorite station? Point five. She said it again. Yeah. You know what you're gonna win now? What? A trip on the space shuttle. <laughs> yeah, the first person in space. You're gonna see Donna Summer on the space shuttle. Isn't this fantastic? Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Have you ever been on the space shuttle? No, I haven't. Oh, have it's you? beautiful. Yes. Fantastic. It's going to have a big disco ball. Mm -hmm. They're going to decorate it all. Hey, do you know how to dial a phone? Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite sexual position? Hello. Donna wants to know. Hello. <laughs> oh, no. Is she hanging up finally? She's gone. Oh, my God. It took forever. Hey, uh, Janet and Nick. We say goodbye to John and Nick after today. Yep. We've been focusing on this god-awful radio show in uh, Buffalo this week. Next week, uh, maybe we go Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Maybe we go Pittsburgh next week. This is one of these awful shows that has the guy and the girl. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the whole, she just sits there and, oh, gosh, oh, no. Adds nothing. Hey, how you doing there, Sam? Um. Oh yeah. All right. So we got Sam. He's been working this bit all week Old for us. Candy head. <laughs> just Sam. It's just Sam. So we got some audio of them today as we're doing. Picture your grandma naked. Mm -hmm. They're talking about I think birthday cake. Birthday. Cake. And I think they brought in a birthday cake. Yeah. Was who's, it someone's birthday? Whose birthday? I don't think it's anybody's birthday. They just brought it in because they wanted cake. <sighs> what? What? He wanted a cake. It seemed like it had come up on an earlier show, and they were doing a th callback <laughs> to wanting some cake. <laughs> this is just and then sounds horrible. They got a cake, and, and then they, talked about the cake. They talked about it as they were tasting it, and I, well, they had to find forks. And, and then, then they talked about the goodness of the cake of the cake that they got. All right, this was on the radio. On the radio, yes. Oh, this is an Al Roker? It was their first break of the day. It was that's, First break. That's how they started the show, Cake Talk. Cake Talk. Yeah. Probably a segment called Cake Talk on their show. See, the middle of a radio show. Five every day. The middle of, the radio, uh, of a radio show is the shaky ground. You know, yeah. when you, you when you crack the mics first thing, oh, you know what you want to talk about. Yeah. Someone that did you wrong, the top story of the day. Yeah. Some uh, maybe picture your grandma naked type <laughs> of bit. But if you have to start your show by talking about cake and its goodness... Mm -hmm. You're in deep trouble as far as a radio show goes. All right, well, here it is. Janet and Nick out of Buffalo, New York. Yeah. There was one thing we needed this morning. I have brought you gentlemen cake. Is that birthday cake? This is birthday cake. I don't eat birthday cake. Look at this. Holy this Walter. cake. I have learned something about myself. I am a German bakery girl. Like, because Walter's is a German bakery. Oh, Walter's. And that's the kind of sweets and pastries that I like. This was the most beautiful cake. I, Nick, I'm so excited for you to taste it. you got to pull a piece out and taste it. New guy, you do cake, right? Pull a piece oh. out with my hands? Well, here, I, I have forks right here. Yeah, i got to be coming. Because it's, it's icing everywhere. Okay. Okay. No, I'll go for it. Of course it is. Hit me. Hold Doesn't on. that cake look okay. good, though? I think I'm going to try that. you got to try it. I'm telling you, it is careful. It might, you don't yep. want, yeah, you got to just be careful. Yeah, I'm being and, careful. Yeah, and Nick's like, yeah, whatever, Jim. How careful tough. guys are with cake. See, now you want to lick your fingers when the frosting gets on, but you can't because you're serving. Isn't that tough to do? Yep. Kept going through that I'm last not a waiter. Uh-huh. Good thing you're not a waiter. Yep. All right, you got to taste. Now, tell me if that's not the best cake ever. Oh, no. How good is that cake? Taste it. Isn't I can it delicious? This is going. I can... How good? It's good birthday cake. I told you it was good birthday cake. Isn't that great? All right, we're laughing for another oh, reason, obviously. Yeah, I can just yeah. see what Sam has done to this see, already. We like to play this stuff just to show people, because there's a lot of new people kind of figuring if they like us or not. It's so, great birthday cake. So we want them to fully understand us. It's great birthday cake. In our world, that that ends with a cake in someone's face or... Or you crush their dreams by just punching yeah. the cake as hard as you can. Yeah. Right in the middle, just go... Smash it in her face. Right before they were going to you know, taste the cake. But they actually tasted the cake. 
Well, yeah, that, that was, was the payoff, actually having a piece of cake. Oh, this is great cake. Well, here you say, can I have some cake and eat grandma, too? <laughs> <Gee>. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what, was that dumped, do you think? Uh, no. Yeah, who knows? Where is this radio uh, station at? Where is this? Hall? Yeah. What? Where is this radio station? Buffalo. Are you talking just to be heard at this point? <laughs> no, I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had one or two bad lines the whole day. You can't always focus on a negative, and even Patrice told me something. I love the people oh, really? that feel like, you know what, I haven't talked to in a while on the show. I, I better just say something. <laughs> I only said it in Buffalo like two or three times to set this I'm thing up. Not. And I know we have a bad, we're, we're really not good listeners on this show, but my God, why would that matter at that point? Because I was wondering if I did the station, if I did these two people. Because I would say, yeah, it's Buffalo. And you go, oh, yeah, of course. That's what you expect out of Buffalo? No, this is happening. Every city in America has Everywhere a show like has got this. these. So it really, in the end, it doesn't really matter where this is coming from. But it's, a, it's it's extra exciting for the people in Buffalo because they're like, oh, I think I've seen a billboard of these dopes or something. Oh. So they're a little closer to the bit than the rest of the country, but everyone can play along. All right. So uh, you, A was laughing because you know the obvious. Yeah. I think uh, Sam might have hit another home run today. Sam? I try. You're feeling good. Yeah. All I hit is home runs. <laughs> <laughs> so modest. So the bit, uh, Rich, because you haven't been around, uh, we take that audio and now we make it funnier and we bring them into the shock jock world. See, it's our job to make these awful shows sound interesting and funny. Mm -hmm. Got it? Okay. All right. With that said, here's that same break, but definitely funnier. And I, I haven't heard it, but I, I guarantee you, you hit a home run. All right. I guarantee. There was one thing we needed this morning. I have brought you gentlemen. Is that this is... I don't even. Look at this. Holy. This I have learned something about myself. I am a German. That's the kind of that I like. This was the most beautiful. Uh, Nick, I'm so excited for you to taste it. Yeah, I got to be. It's just because it's everywhere. I get, no, I'll go for it. Of course it is. Hit me. Doesn't it look good, though? I think I'm going to try that. You got to try it. I'm telling you, it is. Careful. It might. You don't yep. want. Yeah. You got to just be careful. Yeah, I'm being yeah, careful. Yeah, and Nick's like, yeah, whatever, Jay. Yeah, careful, guys. Are See, now you want to look when the is on, but you can't because you're <laughs> Isn't that tough to do? Yep. Kept going through that. I'm Uh-huh. Good thing you're not a Yep. All right, you got to taste. Now, tell me if that's not the best ever. How good is that? Taste it. Isn't it delicious? How good? It, I told you it was good. Isn't that great? <laughs> See, they're a filthy show. Yeah, see how filthy they are? <laughs> I, I just have one critique. Oh, no. Yeah. Bit over? Why wouldn't you? No, no. Being that the word was cake with the k sound and the k sound at the end, why wouldn't you leave a little more, just a touch of the beginning or end, so it would really sound filthy? Hold on again. Some of them didn't make total sense when she was... Yeah, some of them. Kind of give, And then... If I left some of them in, then you didn't know when she was talking about here, and the, I don't know. I just assumed, because it sounded like another word, which would be really filthy, that you would leave in a k somewhere. Yeah. But that's my only critique. I was hoping, actually, to hear some of that. That's why I was all psyched up to hear it. You want do-over? Maybe do-over. Do-over! Just, just leave a little... Where, where, it's, where it's appropriate, where she would be using that word. Uh -huh. Because I know later on, it sounds like they're talking about some other stuff. <laughs> right. <So I've> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that still made me laugh pretty good today. Uh, let's go to Ron in New York. Ron, what's up? Are we going to do the same bit over and over again until everybody's just bleeding from their ears or what? What are you talking about? Uh, what? I'm talking about the cake thing over Free FM. We know you guys are better than everybody else on the radio. Wait, talking about what? Ron, what? This Jack and Kathy crap or whatever those DJs' names were about, uh, you know, the whole, the whole cake eating contest. Dude, that oh was, my God, it was te it was not even fucking five minutes at the end of the show. Did you hear? We did fucking two hours and fifty five minutes every of every day. Every day you got to Ron, keep it in perspective. I'm, oh my I'm sick God. of you fuckers. I'm so sick of the fucking message boards fucking and sick of people like. Then get your fucking serious radio. 
Oh, it's Friday. Stop, oh, stop, ten, stop like... I uh, forgot it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday, stop dude. threatening us and go get your fucking serious radio. It's if you Friday. don't like the fucking why, why show, go somewhere else. Too? Howie's off. It's Friday. I forgot. Why am I sensitive? Because it's douchebags like that that are wrecking it for everybody else and they're allowed to take over message boards and, and you know, wreck everyone's day. Go fuck yourself. It was four fucking minutes today. What other show gives you a radio show where maybe you don't like four minutes of a fucking show? I don't enough think he was already. A, I don't think he was a fan. And a message to the message boards, enough. You guys are being had by Howard Stern fans and people that aren't even fans of the fucking show and you let them take over the whole goddamn thing. Enough. Simple as this. You don't like the show, go somewhere else. Like, some guy's going to get on our case because he doesn't like one f lousy four-minute bit. I've had it. You're going to do the whole bit over again? Well, well uh, maybe we'll have a girl come in and sit on a vibrating dildo machine every fucking day. How about that? Every day. I'm not, I'm not stupid enough to think you're going to like every single minute of our radio show. Duh. But if it's a four-minute bit, then that's a, that's a song you can listen to somewhere else on the radio dial. Go listen to a song and come back. Four. Or never come back. Whatever, man. We have enough people that like the fucking show. Four minutes out of 25 hours. 25 we hours. We do 25 either. hours of original material yeah, a day. Week, and that's not hours. good enough for some of these people. Four minutes. It's amazing. They'll nitpick it, any fucking thing. It's amazing to me. They have no idea how almost impossible it is to like entertain people for 25 hours a week of original material it, but it's so fucking arrogant of people to tell you how to do your job when they never even come close to doing it well this is how you should do it oh really and then they threaten well I'm gonna go get a serious thing go get your fucking serious unit see here's how it works if enough people do that then the show is to the point where no one's listening, and then this, guess what? We go away. That's how right. it works. And your dream comes true. Then we go away. And we're gone. Yuck. Uh, yeah, he wasn't a fan. Let's go to Adam in Connecticut. Adam. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, oh. you're on the air, sir. <laughs> no, I just want to, uh, to point out something kind of funny. Yeah. Opie uh, says... Um, at this point, a lot. Do I? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's just... I guess I got nothing better. Oh, boy. <laughs> do I really? Well, at this if point... I, if I do, I'll work on it. I think right. you should go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, punch it out. All right, thank you. Too late. Uh, anyway. Just so... Uh, enough already. And then I do look at the message boards, and, and these message boards are being had. It's like, are you this stupid? You're letting people that are Howard Stern fans completely control your board and threads. Dummies. And then they're like, well, it's free speech and or whatever. But you, it's not a fan site. You're being hijacked by another radio show, and you're not smart enough to realize that. Hmm. Oh, my God. You're going to give yourself an ulcer after the chicken parm. That chicken parm oh, was, was terrific, good. but okay. the, the uh, marsala was even nicer with the, great with the hot peppers there, Anthony. Oh, wonderful. The this is the best breakfast I've had in What's a while. What's that big cake in the middle of the table? Apple crisp. What? Apple crisp. I need a plate and a fork immediately. Stat. Stat. And something to cut it with. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this place is getting uh, very crowded. Yeah, quite the... Uh, Quite the crew out there. They had a lot more people because the weather is so fucking abominable out there. I thought there was going to be maybe three people standing out there. I was pretty happy with the yeah, crowd. Quite the crowd out there. Yeah, And they're definitely. all filing in. I think um, I think we're going to be able to interact with our studio audience maybe, uh, in a little like, while after maybe, they're done with their fucking paperwork. You want to do some material? Maybe, maybe later I'll do a little oh. of the Starbucks tour out there. Maybe. Yeah, why don't you do that? Why don't you warm up for your big gig at Wisecrackers <laughs> in, in Wilkes-Barre? I believe it's Wilkesbury, PA. Oh, Wilkesbury. You said it so many different ways. I don't. I don't even know what it means. That I don't know the right. Prom you all right over there? I want cake. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's how the bit's done. That's how the bit's done. If that was the last piece, I'd have been pissed. Fucking oh, Anthony Rich just cut himself a huge piece of this oh, apple, man. whatever cake. It's not apple pie. I don't know what the fuck it is. It looks so good. 
He's trying to walk by Rich, and Rich just knocks the whole fucking thing out of his hand. Crumbs went into my face. There you go. <laughs> ah, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking good. <laughs> That's why we we play the Jan and Nick audio. See, it always God leads to damn. something. Oh, it leads to a fine moment. Funny, Rich. Dude, man, you I was not anger. expecting it. I turned around. He smacked it square fucking down out of my hand, and crumbs came flying up into my face. Yeah, like it was a diving board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking red. It's all over you, bro. I know. It's <laughs> everywhere. You got, like, powder in the middle yeah, of the Yeah, look at this. I got powdered sugar on me. <laughs> That's because I'm sweet. Uh, let's go to British Bulldog. British Bulldog, what's up? Hey, good morning, oh, hey. hey, this will make Opie happy. It's not why I called, but I'm a truck driver, obviously. Got the brand new Sirius in the dash. Never turned the fucker on. I've yeah. got, uh, got XM sitting right on top of it. So, anyway, so why I called, I was, uh, I want to hear some more of that dreadful audio. I want to hear the reserve in the back pocket Sam CD just in case he fucked up this week. Yeah, I Didn't he have one? I thought it sounded, you know, really, really funny when it made it sound like Nick was trying some cock. You know? Yeah, really. <laughs> Tons of cock and eating some and, cum. And by the way, people are saying, why are you letting, these, letting that guy get to you? I'll tell you why, because I'm trying to make a point. A, a, a true fan of the Opie and Anthony show is not going to call because they didn't like one lousy four-minute segment of the fucking show. Yeah. The, the true fans would, if they realized we're sucking for the entire day or day after day, then they would start calling like, dude, what, what the fuck's up? Mm -hmm. But as soon as you call because you didn't like four minutes of a bit, you're not a fan. And if he's listening to it so much that he heard every single time we've done that, then he's listening all the time. So he, he, uh, then he is a fucking fan. I love the people that there, think that there, we just. There's have, times when I go. There's times when I got to turn you guys down because I'm fucking laughing so hard I'm nearly crying and I can't drive straight on the road. But you know, it, <laughs> this, yeah, move on. This show is like a. It's going to be a roller coaster. We're going to be on some major highs and then we're going to dip down into some lows. I love the people that think we just have nothing but radio gold in our back pockets and like they don't understand why we're not playing those cards. Like, mm. why aren't you playing those cards? Why the same thing? Well, maybe because we thought it was funny and we could get something out of it. Uh, all I could think of now is, but Rich, I earned that cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Rich. Why did you do that? All right, let's let's uh, let's go to James. What's up, James? Everyone warming up finally from that walkover? Hey. Yeah. What's up, James? Rich, Rich Voss is a, a real good comic. I love him. A bunch of friends of mine and I were going to go see him when he was coming into the neighborhood. But what an asshole he is. Why? Oh. He, uh, you know, his uh, prom promote, uh, promos that he does. Oh, the guys, you'll find out. You can figure it out yourself. We couldn't find it. We called. We made phone calls trying to find out where this uh, place in Quakertown was. But he goes, oh, the firehouse in Quakertown. Well, there's a bunch of firehouses in Quakertown. Rich. Well, listen, Up listen, you. listen. Here's the thing: that Quaker Town gig. You're lucky. I, I didn't feel good. I was sick. It was horrible. Were you in Allentown area? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. You're saying put more info in your plugs, Rich. Oh, okay. Sorry. Let's go to Chief on Long Island. Chief, what's up? Ugh. Yeah, I'm so sick and tired of these people calling up bitching about something they don't like on the show. You know what? Tell them to flush his, flush his XM down the freaking toilet. Go fuck his mom. I mean. Jesus Christ! It really gets frustrating. You... It gets frustrating after a while because every every bit we do, we have people liking it, and then we have people that don't like it, and they go yeah. somewhere else or whatever. They understand the show, but that's you, exactly. But that guy didn't like that bit, and they think it's getting. A little, uh, he personally thinks he's a little tired. No. Instant feedback is 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 piling in from people that l love that particular yeah. bit. So to them, they like it, and to them, maybe they only heard. Maybe a couple times that we've done it out of right. the many times that we actually did it, if that makes sense. That guy was exactly, an ass. That's exactly what I do. If there's something I'm not interested in, I'll go check a song out, I'll go fuck around, whatever. I'll come back and, 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 and it's... I like just about 90% of everything you guys do, but there's still some shit that, you know... I'll tell you right now, minute, if you like 90% of the of the show, that is, that's that's massive. I, I honestly think the average listener that would consider themselves a, a faithful listener is barely over 50% of what they actually like. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. You know, the average... Right what, on. Uh, whatever. I could get into stats all day long. Ooh, stats. <laughs> on regular radio, someone that would call themselves a fan of a radio show... 
listens way less than than an hour every day. Yeah, way less. It's pretty much their commute, which is you know some people do have the longer commute, but in general mm-hmm. it's like twenty minutes a day. That's all they catch, What's and they're and they're the ones that would go out of the way to tell someone else about the show because they're you know faithful listeners of the show. Yeah. If you're a stand-up comic, if someone like me or a Norn or a Patrice, if someone doesn't walk out on your show, then you're not doing your job. <laughs> if they don't fucking leave, if you don't have a couple of people leave or pissed off, then Patrice throws the- people out. Right. Yeah. Why are you back? Yeah. You guys hung up on me, man. What, 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 what just, you know, Could you, a little construct- Rod, you made your point, and I made my point. Do you think that was constructive criticism? It's not constructive criticism. You, you, I, you know, I didn't like a little piece of a bit, and then you guys got to go on. Why are you going out of Hold on, Rod. Yeah, Why are you going call. out of your way to call up uh, a show that you supposedly like to say that you didn't like one four-minute segment? You know how ridiculous that is, seriously, if you really think about it? Do you, you think guys say call if you don't like it? We'll take your calls. We don't we don't care. We'll face anybody. We do. And then you hey, know Rod. you want to hang up the phone. Rod, we faced you. Yeah, I saw you. I I didn't have to go to you. I, 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 we faced you, and we let you say what you said, and then I, and we put you back on, and we strongly disagreed. So what's the problem there? I uh, I just think you guys get a little fucking carried away with this shit sometimes, man. It's just a, it's just sometimes you don't have to beat a dead horse. You know what I mean? We we thought the bit was funny. Beat a dead horse. Hey, Rod, 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 Rod. But that's your opinion. I'm l- looking at other opinions where they're like, keep the bit going. I really like that bit, and it's not old to me. And do you know no. most people don't listen that much that they would have heard that bit every time we did it? Do you understand well, that? I happen to like you guys, man. You're saying I'm not a fucking yeah. fan. I've been listening since N.E.W. days. And when Rod- you walk out on your favorite band because the one song you don't like? And Rod, you know that we even mm-hmm. overthink it to the point where today we decided to to do that bit late in the show because we've done that bit earlier in the show, in the middle of the show, because we're even thinking on that level to, to move it around a little bit just in case, because su- supposedly every 15 or 20 minutes the audience is changing. So we even try on our end to at least move it around just in case you are you happen to be, you know, only listen to the show, let's say, from 7.30 to 8 every day. So we're like, all right, uh, in the 7.30 hour yesterday, we played right. this, so let's, well, let's uh, right. do something different in that hour. In the, past, in the past five shows, out of those five shows, how many times do you think you played that bit? We, we did it four times this week out of five days. Yeah. And, four, and hopefully four... Don't a little redundant? Oh, my God. Do you... Wait... You Rod, don't understand the Rod, normal listener. It's so easy just to yell and scream, but I won't. Did, you said you're a fan from any W days, right? Do you yeah. re- do you remember when we would do a bit and we would replay it in the same show sometimes twice, so it'd be <laughs> heard three times in one show, and Not then the good old days. and then the next day we play it again. Do you remember those days, or you forgot? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, you guys uh, you got two radio shows now. You think you'd fucking be able to do a little bit, a little bit more? Oh my wow. God! If See, I if I listed all the bits we did this week, it would I it know. would make your head spin. And then that, and then you have to. If you're such a big fan, why did you go like, ah, oh, just get serious and like, like, what is that like a threat? I'm just. He's just an asshole. Well, people are reminding us we should play the uh, uh, Leprechaun news story for in honor of St. Patty's Day. We could do that. Why don't we do that? Regroup. I think all the listeners are Everyone's in. Trying to eat. Are people still getting in? Holy shit! How many people are? Wow. Isn't he in jail? <laughs> oh, dude, you look like the dude that went to jail. You know that, right? I know that's a visual, but you look like him. Look at the guys on the couch. That, if that doesn't yeah, look right, like... I do. If the, the guys on the couch, if that doesn't look like the evolution of I don't get laid poster right there. <laughs> Holy shit. It goes from goofy to fucking just a hey. mess. Hey, Rich, we uh, we had an idea that you were going to do the Starbucks tour for everybody. Yeah. I, I, I want to make it a little different. What? I think you would be braver if you stayed on this side of the glass so it's like prison comedy prison comedy where you just stand up right in front of the window get a get a mic stand that goes all the way up and you do your material but you're protected with glass oh that's great all right that bulletproof comedy at you. yeah this way i don't have to buy my uh taser that i wanted to get <laughs> right. bulletproof that's like two panes of glass and i think each one is at least two inches thick okay. i was uh i told you about the vegas girl throwing a drink at me no just, uh, we got uh reports about that we haven't heard the story yet <laughs> yeah yeah, I told you the story I, when the last time I was in about well, just wait, the other, no, but there's another story. There's another story. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, where the, uh, uh, I was at uh, in Poughkeepsie. Maybe it's you. And some girl threw a, a, a 
a burning candle at me, <laughs> burning and, candle. and an ONA fan went to block it. Right? Wait, she she got pissed off and she picked up the candle off the table. It picked the candle off the table and heaved it at me. Right? Because her boyfriend said, yeah, whatever. You know, I was only on stage for three, a, a, a triple cunt. And some ONA fan blocks it, right? And then it, all the candle wax gets all over his girl, right? Oh, shit. Right? All in her hair. You know, now I got to buy them drinks on the house. Uh, but it was a nightmare. Just people feel, you know, only fucking comedy. No one ever goes to a Broadway play, sits and texts their friends or throws things. or yeah, Show more emotion. You know what I mean? Or I hate that fucking scene. Comedy. You're a court jester. It's You're, fucking no unbel- respect. It's just un- she threw a fucking candle at me and walked out. Like I said to her, I said, uh, grab her and, and have her what'd arrested. You, what'd you say that uh, got her fucking pissed? Her uh, her boy, she was just sitting here with like such an attitude, not laughing anything. I go, what the fuck is your problem, right? What do you, you want me to run back and forth on the stage or smash I'll tell you what that problem is. <laughs> what she uh, the guy is a huge fan of yours and probably uh, the radio show and just I love when this happens and you're convinced your wife or girlfriend is gonna just love it. Mm-hmm. So you drag him in and then you realize it was a huge mistake. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> He's hating it, hating you <laughs> and saying it, and now hates her husband or boyfriend that dragged her into the comedy yeah. club. Well, they start. Not her quote cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. Because I said, "What the fuck is your problem?" She's sitting there twirling her necklace all, and I go to her, her boyfriend who's laughing. Like you, like what the fuck is her problem? And he goes, "Ah, fuck her." I cut her tongue out. I, I go, good. and I said something like, "Good now, you know, now you don't have to put any effort when you eat her pussy or something." <laughs> Boom, candle, <laughs> candle. <laughs> candle. But a fan running like you know, Secret Service to block the candle. That's from nice. Take right? no, a bullet for you. Yeah. They, yeah, it was cool. Well, it wasn't cool. All right. <laughs> Sacrificed his girlfriend. Uh, let's say hi to Colin in New Jersey. Colin, what's up? Yo, fellas. First of all, Opie, is everything okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> no, <I'm> fine. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it was just a little <laughs> flare-up. <laughs> Picture your grandmother naked <laughs> yeah, see, calling I was, I was the all show. happy today. Yeah, what, okay. what about that bit? That was an original <laughs> O&A bit right Come there. On. That we're going to develop in the coming weeks. You watch. Yeah. <laughs> Every picture your aunt. You know, in us, it's going to end up with some like old couple fucking in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to volunteer their grandma? I know a lady in Florida. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. All right, Colin. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Frunkus. 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 Uh, yes. Jim in New Mexico. Jim, what's up? Hey guys, uh, we've been at a house fire here about the last three and a half hours. Well, we're picking up the hose. I pull up my truck, turn on my accent so we can listen to you guys. You guys are entertaining the piss out of all of us. We're laughing our ass off. So you can tell that guy to go fuck himself. And he won't be sitting next to me in Vegas, but I'll see you boys on the 14th. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, tickets are going fast. Uh, we got to get Pete on the phone. I want to get a ticket count uh, through Ticketmaster for the ONA Traveling Virus Comedy Show April 14th in Vegas. Uh, Jim. Yeah. How's the fire going? Well, we got it out. It was a condo. Saved the ones around it. It was a pretty good save. We lost one, though. Um, some idiot came in here, splash and dashed, and uh, kind of disrupted dashed. our night. But what the heck, you know, that's what we're here for. But, hey, you guys made the last hour of this very enjoyable. Everybody's laughing their ass off. Can't even roll up the hose and stuff, do everything right. Because we listen to you guys. So that guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. It was a splash and dash. I've never times. heard of that. Yeah. The Larson. You know, throw some gas in there, yeah. Yeah. All right, Jim, thank you. Hey, thanks, guys. See you in Vegas. All right, yeah, cool, sounds man. good. Yeah, the, the Pest Out West, they're, they're going to be joining the Vegas show. Um, I wonder if that... Uh, I, I, I'm just wondering if someone could beat that story, listening to the show as they put out a fire. Hmm. Like, people nope. listen to the show as they're doing, like, just strange, horrific Odd things. things. If you could beat that, give us a call. Uh, Patrick in Indiana. Patrick. Hey, man, what's up? I listen every day to you guys. Uh, you guys eh, make me laugh about 95% of the time, but this bit is wonderful. You guys need to expand it, like the TV ministers, these these religious zealots on the radio. You guys need to expand the bit, make yeah, these really good two-shoes, even, even, make them sound even worse. Cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The funny oh, thing, but like, you know, get, get your Jerry Falwells out there. The funny thing is that guy just called the wrong day because we actually rested the bit yesterday thinking, all right, let's rest it a day. We'll bring know. it back one more time on Friday before we say goodbye to those uh, guys in Buffalo. All right, Patrick. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, guys. You're great. 